Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As I continue to come down from this Herculean thing, um, I want to talk to you guys I want to talk to you guys about the fundamental flaw that currently exists in Elden Ring PvP. Specifically, the balancing around invasions. I had this conversation with my buddy over text today, and I wanted to relay it into a normal video that I think was more entertaining by... Uh, that's made more entertaining by the fact that I am fucking gone. But I digress. So, the core thing that issue that Elden Ring is essentially a PvE game. It is a player versus an environment PvE game. This is true, this is fair, but the one of the aspects that has existed in FromSoft games since San Sekiro and specifically in the, the Dark Souls games, which Elden Ring get, gets its gameplay heritage from, is invasions. Invasions, PvP, Hunters, the whole nine yards, blue. Host looks normal, red boys are invaders, yellow boys are support, red boys, uh, blue boys are hunters. They specifically go to hunt invaders. Um, here's the problem. Uh, the way that Elden Ring has been set up in terms of its PvP is, is that you will sometimes get a host like me when I host, which is 1v1, which is normal. You might get a 2v1, which is still perfectly doable, but, you know, still got to be crafty. But at a certain point, most of what's available when you're invading somebody is a 3v1 a 4v1, and even the not unheard of 5v1, where you come in as one invader faction, you're, another person comes in with another invader faction, and then one of the two invaders sides with the host. Which results in essentially impossible abilities for invaders to have fun. And now granted, nobody likes invaders. They aren't fun, but you have to remember PvP doesn't exist without. And you guys... They're like the the way that PvP works in Elden Ring, specifically with the Tantrish Tongue removing the timer on PvP. The people that are uh, nowadays doing co-op, there are no like like you, you, after the, after you get past the two three weeks of initial release, most of the time most summon signs are going to be by fog gates or boss doors and at that point what will like there's not really even a chance for an invader to come in taunter's tongue on or not so what's the result here well the ultimate result of it is is the fact that you only really get invaders when you as the host are choosing to pvp biggest problem with the elden ring player versus player environment as it exists today is that combat is weighted too much in favor to the host side at if you are lucky you will get a 4v2 where the other where the other invader sides with you and if you're lucky and it's if the invader survives long enough for you to spawn on in the first place the second issue is, is that the host can summon not one not two, but three separate people to aid them in, 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 in when somebody invades. They can summon two people to co-op with, and then they can also summon a fourth person by way of the white ring. The thing that basically allows you to summon blue hunters. And this is, you know, fine for the host side, but, you know, it is, invading is a high risk, low reward stakes so let one of the things that like people who talk about this don't talk about are the rewards for pvp when you invade here's what happens you 
are usually outnumbered. You have less flasks available to you than the hosts. You have, and if you, and God forbid you are successful in winning, you only get four. So the way, so just to reiterate, the way that rewards work at PvP is, is that you get a percentage of the total cost it will it currently costs for somebody to level up again. So for example, I am a level 604 character. Yes, I know, Mass of Sweat Lord, don't get me started. I know. I've almost I'm I'm almost a thousand hours into this game. Um if I invade and somebody kills me. Uh, and the, the host will get 15% of my level. That equates to eight, 80, 80, 855,000. That's 15% of the, of the next total level up. My level up being 5,700,000 and some change. Now, if I beat the host that has those same, that same level... I'll only get 4% of that 5 and 3 quarters of mil. No, not even 5, 4%. You only get 4% as an invader. So is it any wonder that I host? No, I do 1v1s normally. And here's the problem with that, right? If I'm just doing a 1v1, what I end up getting are shell shot fucking invaders showing up into my world doing all of the petty like cheap bullshit to get a win because that is the only way to fucking win against four motherfuckers ganking you now don't get me wrong it is very satisfying to kill a gang squad i've killed gang squads it's great fun but you know nine times out of ten like you're really not fucking doing that you gotta pull some shenanigans out your ass. Like I'm talking, talking um, uh, mimic veil and shit to like be able to fucking survive. So let's just like go down the list of like what the actual issues are. Firstly, there is no dedicated teams like on the invader side. There are two separate factions, and you can only summon one from each. Two, the rewards of which you get for being an invader are bad compared to the ones for being a host. And, might I also add, where if you die while being an invader, you lose your ruins wherever the fuck you died. So if you are some randomly teleported to some fuck-off far cave that you haven't been to before, well, and you die there, well, guess what? Even though you haven't unlocked the mountaintop of giants, you still ha your ruins are still there. So good luck not dying over the next six hours as you play through your first playthrough trying to get back there to get up your ruins back. It's not happening. So... And third, um, the you, the resources you have to invade with are lesser. Um, in past games, what they did was to they gave hosts the you know a lead up, knowing that these people were coming and, and um, you know being able to prep, as well as invaders having lessened stats, meaning that they are sensibly doing less damage. They are taking more damage and. Uh, they uh, are, they have less resources, which balance things out with the gangs. But the problem is, is that nothing is balanced in favor for the invaders here. Like, if you're going to have a person be able to summon four separate, like four separate people to help you in a gang fight, what you, uh, what the solution for this is ultimately, you need to make it. I think the simplest solution is increasing the number of invaders before adding this extra slot to both the Bloody Finger faction and the Recusian faction. These are the two uh, antagonistic invasion-based factions that you can get your things from. Um, what this will do is that this will make it so minimum one mother other motherfucker is on your side and you at least have a teammate. Um, and you're not, and it's not just going up to vibes. And second, if, you know, all four of you are summoned versus all of their four, and you choose, like, hey, we're not gonna go, we're going to, like, team up on this bitch, it turns into a 4v4. So, what 
adding this functionality will do will mean that sometimes you'll get a, a resolute 2v4, which is good. That's fine. It's doable. You'll get a 4v4, 3v4s, or even, you know, 2v, 2v3s. Like, you, there will be more options at the disposal, and people won't rely on these campy, annoying tactics that turn one invasion map that should be over in three to five minutes into a 15-minute grind fest where I am chasing you. Why the fuck am I chasing you through Mistwood? But I digress. Um, I think that increasing the invasion number is will do nothing but benefit the game long term. And I think that invasions need that level of fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm realizing that I ate an illegal amount of pizza and fries at my in-law's house where I got it. I, um, my body is now telling me, you ate too much in one go, and now you're going to go throw it up. So I am going to either vomit my brains out or shit my brains out. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, and let's hope I don't crack this toilet bowl. Either way, I'm going to give you all to, um, pre-recorded Evan, and, uh, bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.